Hello and welcome to another episode in our guide to getting pro audio. And the chances are that you're watching this because you've hit that point where you've realised, hey, I need to get better sound on my films. So just as when you're setting up the shot, you might choose to position the camera in a certain place to get the nicest quality lighting, you also need to think about getting the best quality sound because the two are not separate. So in lighting, you might take a use it or lose it approach. So if you're in a room that's mainly lit by daylight, you would go with daylight and you would light with daylight lights. And it's the same with audio. You've got to use what you have. There's people walking past, there's joggers, there's some water coming from over here. There's, as you can see, the trees are moving, so there's a slight breeze. So all these factors need to be considered. One of my sort of favorite top tips with audio is that if you can see the source of the sound, now here's a perfect example. There's a train going past but you can't see the train because it's over there. Now if my camera chat was to quickly flip around, you can do that, and you can see the train, and now I'm talking to you and you can see the train, it makes total sense for you as a viewer, because you now know there's a train track running there. Once we stop using the camera's preamps to record sound, whether it be a top mic or a block on top of the camera, you'll find that an external recorder is by far the better way to go and the best way to get much nicer, cleaner sounds. The first part of any audio kit and the most important part of any audio kit, apart from your ears, is a pair of decent headphones. I would advise you to stay away from wireless headphones or wireless transmitters and headphones because there's always going to be some sort of delay, some sort of latency. So when you're trying to listen to people talking and listen to the sound, if there's a delay or you're relying on Bluetooth, it's not going to be great. So the best way is always to plug the headphones straight into your recorder or your camera. So we brought out the MKH416 shotgun microphone and you can all already hear, probably, because I'm talking straight into it, the sound is very different. I am very, very close to it and ordinarily, two things. First of all, you wouldn't usually use it naked without any sort of windshield or wind protection or even a foam shield because you can probably hear it's picking up every bit of wind noise or even the, the plosives in my voice. So Peter Piper picked a peck of pickle pepper. You can hear that coming through the microphone and we don't want that. So this particular mic is extremely good at rejecting the off-axis sound. And the off-axis sound means pretty much anything that's not coming from a very limited range at the front, which is great when you're doing drama or documentary because you can really pinpoint where you want the focus of the sound to be. So if I turn the mic away from me like this, you can probably hear that my voice disappears. And as it starts coming into range, la, 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 terrible singing voice but that is the sort of sweet spot and as you turn it away again you'll hear the sound change you can use this to your advantage but at the moment what you can also hear is a lot of wind noise and that's because like I said we're using the microphone naked but we do those things that the American YouTubers do and we do click so now we've got the windshield on the microphone you can hear how considerably it's cut down that wind and if it's too strong for this windshield then what we can do is we can pop on an extra cover known as a dead cat which is probably what you've seen on the tv which looks like a, a dead cat so as if by magic this is a short haired one you can get a long haired one too and that will cut out more noise but the idea is that the wind is trapped with, within the fibers of the hair so hopefully you can hear the difference when you're recording these sounds as always the closer you are to the source of the audio the better it is Obviously there's a, there's a barrier here so we can't get that close to the running water but I could stick it on a boom pole and really get close but we should be fine from here. So what I'm going to do now is turn the mic and you'll hear the sound change and my lovely camera operator will shoot what we're hearing. What we're going to do now is actually record the, the wild track of or the buzz track of people walking past. pop along to the folks at CVP and you can have a listen to different parts of the kit because at the end of the day your ears are what's going to tell you whether it sounds good or doesn't sound good and they've got all the recorders and microphones and see which you prefer and see which fits within your budget. So until next time from me, my mics and recorders, have a good one and we'll see you soon.